man i don't know where they got us at see this the only thing about doing these ship orders um a before and after just a week just by a week of me using both the formula that i'm giving out for free and plus my oils i never had a dad's and a mom in the house i didn't even have my own biological mom and father um to give me that upbringing Little intro, little intro. Let's see what intro. Oh my gosh, look at my baby hair. Don't mind it. And get moisturized yet. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, we've been gone, been gone for a little bit, you guys. I've been working on stuff and I'm just trying to juggle being a mom and trying to work on this little project that I have going on and not fully there yet but it is coming along if you guys saw the video um previous one from here then you know what I'm talking about so yeah you guys I'm gonna try to start a vlog so hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another vlog so yeah you guys that is what's going on she want to talk yeah and um i think i probably take you guys out uh on a date with me um doing ship that's the shirt um little side job it's called ship if you don't know what it is, look it up, you guys. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess I will see you guys on the next clip. All right, hey, you guys. I almost forgot. I said, I just told him, I said, oh, I was supposed to have been vlogging this. So, yeah, I almost forgot. But we are on our way now to pick up, um, whatever it is that we have to pick up i won't know until we get there i know it's groceries but um don't know what kind but i'll show you guys um how this one goes it's basically we just um we just go to the store and they actually put everything in the car for us in the trunk for us um this type of order anyway it's many it's a it's a lot of different ways that you can be a ship shopper like you have delivery only orders you have shop and deliver and then pharmacy orders i usually get dumb a lot where you just go and pick up um that's still you know you're just picking up and shipping it um that's so easy you go to a pharmacy and i thought we was going to get one of those however we didn't get one of those so this one is um uh, at a market and I don't know if you said guys say wise, wheeze. I'm gonna say wheeze. <laughs> it's wheeze. I say wise. I I hear a lot of people say it different ways. Um, but I'm gonna say wheeze. <laughs> we are here now. We get ready to turn in. Today was Mark's their last day of homeschool. Um, in our books. <laughs> um, we just waiting for their review to come back. Um they let us know if we have anything that we miss um and all of that good stuff so i have the oldest out with me today he was out with me yesterday as well i don't even know okay i think it's up there i have to go up there okay i guess i just don't go right here i've never been to this market before doing this kind of um delivery so what I have to do right now you guys is call this number on here and then they come. She's actually right here. I don't want to really put her face on there, but she's going to put, um, she's going to pick up the stuff that's inside there and put it into the truck and yeah. So 
see you guys on the next one man i don't know where they got us at see this the only thing about doing these ship orders you be like literally out in the bonies for real <laughs> Now, I'm trying to record and drive at the same time, but just check out the scenery, y'all. Just check out the scenery. I hope you guys can see the scenery. Like, no wonder why they don't want to come and get their own daggone stuff. Like, look where you got to go. Like, this is just, this is a lie. So, I don't want to show the people's house. Um... Look at that. Wow. Wow. They got the golfing up here. Look at these big old houses. What is this? Like, what in the... Don't tell me I gotta... Cause I don't know nobody stuff. All right, we are here. We're gonna get this stuff out of here. Um, we got some bags. Good thing we got the, the sun with me. Okay, let's not step on that lawn. Walk around. I'm gonna sit them right here, and he's gonna sit his right there. Got on the steps. So that is it. And so we just completed this order. I don't know if they it says um to complete handle, which I've never had before. Usually just sit there, sit it there and go. You're welcome. Okay, so alright, we got it. I didn't want to leave without them actually getting it. It says complete handoff. Like, they took a long time to come to the door. Yeah, this it's a bit of a process um, that you have to go through. So it's kind of hard for me to even record and have to go through the app and <laughs> um, do all the stuff that I need to do and then and then had the phone in my hand so yeah you guys like that's probably why i didn't decide to ever do one of these vlogs because it just be too much and me i ain't got it together yet <laughs> i don't have it together yet i'm trying different vlogs as i can but this right here mm -mm, it'd be too much it'd be too much so this is what we got going on here like so we are leaving here and you guys, I don't think I'm going to do any more of recording while we're doing this, but I just showed you guys just a little bit of what I do when I do my ship job and he is with me um, today. He's going to collect his little coins <laughs> for helping mommy. Um, those bags be real heavy, especially when um they be i don't know why i don't have it on me but just bear with me you guys just just enjoy the view <laughs> but yeah it'd be a lot of when it's when it's a lot of bags it it'd be a little it'd be too much for me to be carrying by myself so why not have a second person to help four arms <laughs> in total so yeah we are going to see if they have anything else um, around this time. When they don't, I usually just go in the house and um, look and see if they have anything else. If it's worth going out for, then I'll take it. This one was worth going out for, so I took it. Um, so yeah, if it's another one, maybe I'll come back. Maybe not. All right. Look at them, golfing. 
all right you guys i'm gonna continue recording our little way out of here because y'all didn't see how we actually like um came in so this light yeah they have their own light they have their own how you get your own your own traffic light so this light is red right now um that means on the other side is green because only one car one vehicle can fit through this little i guess what do you want to call that a little oh, i don't think there's no tunnel huh right. i mean i guess i don't know what to call it but yeah. yeah so now that this is green nobody else can come through and yeah look how small this little thing is for you to go yeah like this is look at the little creek down here this this is wild this is wild and so now they're stopped and gotta wait for the light but yep that's it you guys i think i done showed y'all enough <laughs> i think i done showed y'all enough so that's it for right now see you guys on the next clip well, we are back in the house now so now i usually when i leave out i like to change her already have her fed so they don't have to worry about that part um and then i like to get back just in time for her to eat again so they ain't got to worry about that they're just basically just watching her um keeping her entertained and they'll let me know if she gets out of hand and if she does i'll be right on my way back it looks like this um you probably can't see where i live at it'll show me let me back up <laughs> where i live at it'll show me delivery in my area um you can put a schedule on or not i usually don't i usually go and look when i have time uh to sneak out real quick i usually go and look and if they have something and it's worth taking i'll take it um when i say worth taking if it's money <laughs> and like worth the drive and you know not wasting a lot of gas gas that i would have to put back in there from the order <laughs> then i'll take it but if not um and it's basically going to go back in my tank i'm not taking it so yeah um when they have something available which they don't right now i'll click on it and it'll let me know um, if I do a delivery only order, then I'm just simply going there and picking it up and then dropping it off to the location that I have to drop it off to. Um, if it is shop and deliver, we go in there, we pick the items up. Um, it gives you a list. You're shopping for the person. So it gives you their shop list. You get the stuff. Um, you use the phone to scan the stuff to make sure that it's the right thing or whatever. All of that good stuff. I know you guys probably don't want to hear about that. But if somebody do want to hear about it and you're interested in SHIP, um, of course, I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> but it's a nice little job for stay-at-home moms like me. Um, or for anybody that just want, you know, a second job um, to get quick, fast money. Whatever the case may be. It's done. She is done this morning. And she is sleeping. You know what you're going to see? She's sleeping, y'all. Um, what else? I did have... It was an update. What am I updating you guys on? Oh, yeah. Okay, so... The previous video um, showed that I am giving out my secret ingredients not to my oil but to something that i have been doing for alopecia um i am not really confident um in showing my alopecia so you guys are see me with a hair scarf on um or me just I, I won't have my hair up without a head scarf on. I have really, really thin hair, as you can see, my locks are thin. But um, my hair has always been like this, even when I was a loose natural. Um, loose natural, if I didn't put heat to my head, then it looks like I had a head full of hair. 
but if I put heat to my head, then my hair looked it real thin and fine. Um, yeah, all my whole life. Alopecia runs in the family. My mom has it. My grandmother had it. My aunt had it. Um, I have cousins that have it. Um, so yeah, it runs in the family, but I'm praying and hoping that it stops with me. Like, I'm praying and hoping that it stops with me. That tablecloth is irritating me on that side. Can you fix that tablecloth, t please, on your side? I just so happen to see it and it's irritating me, you guys. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, back to it. Um... I decided that I wanted to do something um, about my alopecia and I was researching and I found two ingredients that is for sure to work um, and I have um, the formula that I'm giving out for free for the alopecia but I mixed that formula with my oil that helped my hair grow. My roots have been getting thicker um as of what since i have started the formula plus my oil um my oil itself made my hair grow so my oil helps your hair grow stay moisturized um keep it locked and shiny um it definitely strengthens your hair. My hair has strengthened a lot um, since I've been locked up. It's, it's, it's definitely giving strength. But I wasn't consistent with um, me caring about my edges, my edges, my sides. I wasn't consistent with that. So I would see growth. And then I, being as though I wasn't consistent, it would stop and then it will break back off. Um, now I am definitely for sure not um, slacking off from it. I'm definitely more consistent now and I definitely have been seeing improvement. Once I get there, you guys, I'll be more confident to flip my hair up and show you guys. But for right now, I do have on my website um, a before and after just a week just by a week of me using both the formula that I'm giving out for free and plus my oil, which is called Strong and Almighty. And Almighty. Strong and Almighty. Um, it's Strong and Almighty because both of them together does the work for everything. And this is not just me trying to sell you guys anything. Like I said, I'm giving the formula out for free. Um, it works. I know it works because I had alopecia for years. Everybody hair is different. I am not a cosmetologist. I am not a dermatologist. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure that's the right word for that. <clears throat> but I uh, do know for sure that I have alopecia and I had it for a long time. Um, Actually, Jabril had alopecia and I was putting my oil he had it in the back he had like a smiley face and you know babies usually get smiley faces um from laying on that head he didn't get that until probably like the first grade we noticed um that it was a bald spot it was thinning but then it turned into a complete bald spot and i wish i would have recorded that stuff back then when he was younger he's 13 now um however the oil worked for it because I have never put any store products in his head. It's always been oil that I mixed up myself. So I know for sure that whatever I'm doing definitely works. I just wasn't consistent with myself. So, I mean, because I was dealing, I lived with it for basically my whole life. I'm 30, about to be 35 next week. So I really, you know, whatever. I throw a headband on real quick just to not even write about it. Oh, no, um, but yeah, he had it, he had it real bad, alopecia, and it was, it was about this long in the back of his head, and I was just all in, using the oil that I mixed up, all in his scalp, and then we saw it grow back, like, before our eyes, um, I don't want to say it took, like, one, two, three, no, um, so at first, when he was getting haircuts, we didn't really worry about it, so I wasn't doing nothing, 
at that time. But the kids wanted to start growing their hair. He had a high top fade and always got this um, cut, you know, really low. Dad would cut it down for them. And we would always have to bald him so that that spot wouldn't show. And, um, yeah, that's just what we did for a while into... They started growing hair. Now I have to moisturize your hair more because you're growing hair. And I, when I started doing that with the oil that I always use, that I always need, um, we saw a change in his hair. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, you guys. So Right here in this area, which is a little thin, you can see, but... This is where it was strictly bald. Nothing would grow right here. Nothing would grow right here. And I mean, we could be doing better with putting uh, putting more oil in his head and stuff, moisturizing it back there. But they get all they get it cut. Not saying that that's a reason not to do it, but that part used to be straight bald. It's definitely changed since he was younger. And you know, some people deal with alopecia for the rest of their life. So I know that if I just be consistent and doing the oil, and that's what I'm trying to make sure that people do, the oil that I have already um, sold so far, I'm telling everyone to make sure that they do it every single day. Two times a day if you can, but at least make sure the oil touches your hair every single day. Just like YouTube, you gotta be consistent at this. So I hope you guys, you know, enjoy that. Um, that is what I'm doing right now. This is actually my second time putting something together for um, a little business. So um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I wanna see where it goes, uh, yeah. I have my own care Kevin business. I stopped doing it um, to work around my kids' schedule. Um, yeah, so I put that on the shelf, and I really feel like it was the Lord's doing um, that made me hang that up for right now. I'm saying right now, but I probably would never go back into it. Um, I'm asking God to guide my steps. I'm not perfect, but I do lean on the Lord to help me with um direction and no matter what i'm going to try to be led by the lord when it comes to career path when it comes to just anything that is um involving my children um yeah i live for them they are first before anything so um, my first job is a mother and a lot of people don't, didn't understand, like, you don't know my life. Assertive, I'm a hustler, baby. I'm a hustler. I'm definitely a hustler. I can definitely put things together and, um, I definitely can get out here and do what I do. But when I say my kids come first, my kids come first. And it has always been like that. I've always worked around that schedule. The only difference now is they were in school public school oh, now they're so homeschool and oh, i have a baby so it's a little hard for me to really do what i really want to do so i'm just letting the lord lead and allowing my husband to take over um it's been plenty of times where we were back and forth where so he was down and i was working two jobs and going to school like i don't have to you know even put that out there, but just to allow people to know before they put their two cents in. Um, yeah, this is just how we have always, you know, tried to work together. Like, if you're down, I'm up. If I'm down, which I'm not really down, um, I know that I can lean on you. So that's just how it's supposed to be. And I feel like um, we know what we got going on. Outsiders don't matter. Um, they probably don't, you know, like the way we live our life or the way that we doing things. But I mean, and that's family too. I don't care. This is our life and 
these are our kids and whatever works best um until they are grown and out of the door <laughs> this is just what it's gonna be so yeah thank you guys for tuning in and listening um this little sit down right here y'all seeing all this little mess right now um my house don't be looking like this um whatever you guys want to see or know let me know in the comment box i always ask you guys a lot of y'all just watch or is y'all true supporters or what like i don't i don't know if y'all true supporters or not because i don't really you know see anybody commenting much um it just be the same about two to three people um that's fine if you don't want to comment you guys but at least you know let me know with a like that you enjoyed it um let me know you're still here let me know you're still here i see the subscribers i have seen that two of them have left so it's like you know whatever if this content is not for you that's fine um there's no hard feelings <laughs> um but i don't want to lose subscribers because you're not interested in my content so i would like to know what makes you interested what what is interesting to you anything that i have done so far um you guys i am you know willing to do it um the best of my ability <laughs> whatever you ask for um i was thinking about doing a live but only one person had well i think two people had comment about that so i don't know i'm just trying to figure it out here you guys but However, this channel is really mainly, it's not for, you know, me to blow up big, whatever it do, it do. It's mainly for me to have memories. It's mainly for me to show you guys um, my faith. L listen, I am not a religious person. I still sin daily. I am just trying to show you guys the walk, like... The walk isn't easy, and it's definitely not a overnight process. Um, I'm trying my best to work on things that I need to be, you know, delivered from. But listen, we are all human, and I don't judge anyone, especially those that, um, you know, are not into the Bible. <sighs> have not went and took that walk with Jesus. Um, have not had an encounter with Jesus um or with god i don't know i'm not pushy on nobody with religion i'm not a religious person i don't have a religious spirit um when i first got into the bible i was a little religious but um that hasn't got me anywhere because i am still born here in this sinful world i was born as sin into sin i am not jesus i cannot do everything right that's why jesus came to do it all for us and that doesn't give me excuse to sin but i'm human like i said and i am not jesus and i can never be as perfect as him but i'm trying to allow god to make me as perfect as he need me to be but it is not like a process that happens overnight so um yes yeah. i'm proud of where i have been where i came from and where i'm at now um my main focus is my children upbringing um i was two or three years old my biological mom tells me that i wasn't that young but my foster mom tell me i was that young i really don't even know but as long as I can remember I was a foster child, um, I had one foster parent for many, many years. Um, and she would get mad if I even call her my foster mother. So I grew up in a system. And um, things that I was influenced by, things that I was, um, it was in my environment, things that I was taught and stuff like, I would, I would not want my children to experience that. So I feel like as a mother, um, trying to do her best <laughs> and is trying to understand like the right way to, first of all, I wasn't in a two-parent home. My foster mom, 
she never was with a man um not gonna go all the way into details about that but there was i never had a dad and a mom in the house i didn't even have my own biological mom and father um to give me that upbringing and to teach me the things that i need to know so i'm trying to do that with my children so they don't fail in the areas that i have failed in but we are human but the bible does tell us listen if you teach a child in a way to go when they get older they will not part from it so i'm hoping and i paraphrase that but um i'll put it on the screen for you guys to see it but i'm praying that at least i am doing that much um for them i, I feel like if i can at least teach them the right way to go um that would give them a better upbringing yeah i just feel like i'm doing my part in that area in which god could be very pleased with me about and so i'm just taking it one day one step at a time i am not perfect i'm trying to get there um yeah so that is it for this video you guys and don't forget to like comment subscribe if you are new here and you would like to see more content from me and i'm out bye